like an underground fairy tale. She was just taking the template for rock and roll and just ripped it up, threw it away. This ain't no fun. I, I was just directly speaking about sex, which I think that in the year 2001 isn't so shocking. I did not think Peaches of Peaches go past my bedroom, to be honest. When we were in Toronto and we would do gigs, they'd always be like, ooh, weird ones on last, because they didn't know where to place us. I didn't feel like the mainstream was really mainstream. It wasn't including queer culture. It wasn't including female-identified empowerment. If there are orgies in the backstage of Peach's shows, well, the answer is only occasionally. I'm not interested in anniversary tours, but Teaches and Peaches, the album, changed my life. You have to connect with the audience. Like, this is your moment. And then, check out my fucking ass. Every show had this power that I've never experienced. She says, Jesus walks on water and Peaches walks on you. Grandma, you're scaring the kids. Sucking on my titties like you wanted me. Don't give a fuck about, like, how you're going to be perceived. I mean, just be committed to whatever feels right. Away. Like immediately, it was like boiled in my brain. Beautiful celebration of a fuck you. I don't want to make a documentary where it's like, I used to have a career and now I'm just surrounded by cats and I'm a weird cat lady, but I am now. <laughs>